QDA 10, it's also possible to transcribe audio or video files directly in Max QDA or import pre transcribed documents with the timestamps linking it to that original document. So let's start by importing or linking to an audio or video file. And to do this, I right click on the documents icon here in the document system. You can see the option transcribe audio video. I then need to navigate to that audio or video file. In this case, we have an interview file, audio file, and I click open. Now, in this case, it's asking me if I want to inter uh, overwrite that particular document because it already existed in my externals folder. This won't happen if, you've, uh, if you're in, uh, actually importing that just for the first time. But in this case, we'll just choose to overwrite it. So now what happens is we have this new document, it's called Interview Robert, and we have a blank document. The idea is that we would be able to play this audio file and transcribe, type, at the same time. Now in order to do anything with audio or video files, we need to have our uh, media player toolbar available. So click on the toolbars drop down menu and make sure the media player is clicked on. Right now there's no check mark next to it, so I don't have it. So I'll click on it, and it then appears. So that we can see that better, I'm just going to move it down here. Now, once we've double clicked on this document, to activate the connection to the audio file, I click on the flag. And it's now activated. We can see that this is a 9 minute and 58 second file. So, I can go ahead and play that audio file and as we're listening, so I can just, as I'm listening to this file, type and transcribe as we go along. At any point, I can also insert a timestamp. So a timestamp is pretty much keeping track of when a person was saying a certain thing. And what that lets you do is get back to the context. So if I um, am maybe in the middle of an interview uh, or in the middle of coding the text of an interview and I'm not sure whether this person was saying something sarcastically, I can just click on the closest timestamp and hear that played back. So it's possible to right here within MaxQDA do your transcript, play the file, and include insert timestamps. An even easier option is to transcribe ahead of time in the software F4, which is available at audiotranscription.us. And it's a free program, a free download, and has lots of different options for slowing down the speed of the playback, for jumping back a certain amount of time. And using this software is great also because when you create timestamps in that particular document, they'll be brought along into MaxQDA when you import the transcript. So I'll show you an example of that as well. So I'm going to delete this, delete the document and delete the interview backup file. And this time, I'm going to just import a document that I have created with F4. So I used F4 to transcribe this document, and the transcription has timestamps in it that MaxQDA will recognize. So I just import the document as I would normally, clicking on Import Document. And here we have F4 Transcript Robert. So when I was using this transcription software, I then saved it uh, as this F4 in rich text format. And now when I open it, MaxQDA recognizes that there are timestamps in there. So it now gives me a second media file box here and says, select this file that goes with the document. And in this case, it's Interview Robert. So I opened a regular document in RTF format and it recognized that it was a transcript, and so it asked me then to link to the audio file. So when I click Open, 
It asks me again if I want to overwrite since I have this already in my backup folder. And now I have this, this transcript, as you can see here, and this transcript in comes with, includes timestamps. So at any point, for example, here Robert says that he's almost completely satisfied with his health. Well, I may be interested before I code that in hearing how it was that he said that. So I could just simply double click on this timestamp. And it will all be able to hear exactly how he said that. So I can stop and start. I can jump around. It can be helpful in my coding process. And it's nice to always be able to get back to that original data, to that original audio file, and see how a person said that. Now, remember, it's going to be hard for you to navigate anything without the media player. So always activate the media player, no matter where you have it. And these timestamps will only appear when you have the, the uh, audio file activated. So if you don't see your timestamps, come up to the uh, media flyer and click on the red flag. And then all of your timestamps will appear. You can always just play through the file, okay. jump around with the timestamps. And if you go into edit mode, you can always edit your transcript. So if you have some typos, you can change those. What you'll actually be doing then, as far as coding is concerned, is just the same as you would be doing with normal text documents. So you have text in here, and to code, it's still just a matter of highlighting and dragging it to a code. But you can't code while you're in edit mode. So always get out of edit mode, then highlight, and then you can code. But you'll code this transcript in the same way that you code normal text files. The only difference is that you now have a live connection to the original audio or video file. So clicking, double clicking on a timestamp will start play of that file at that point. Mm -hmm.